Hey guys, I gotta explain recursion. Recursion is a programming technique where a function invokes itself from within. We break a complex concept into repeatable single steps. Many problems we can approach iteratively or recursively. Some of the advantages of recursion include less code to write, and typically it's cleaner. It's also useful for sorting and searching algorithms. However, some of the disadvantages of recursion is that it uses more memory and is slower. There's a trade-off. It's up to you if you'd rather use an iterative approach or a recursive approach. Here's an example. We'll break a complex concept, maybe such as walking, into repeatable single steps. To accomplish the task of walking, we would take a single step and then just repeat that a bunch of times. We'll do this first iteratively, then recursively. So let's create a function to walk. Void walk. There will be one parameter, a number of steps. Let's define this walk function. We'll use an iterative approach first. To do that, we can use a for loop. We'll set int i equals zero. We'll continue this as long as i is less than our steps, then increment i by one. I will display just you take a step. Then I'll add a new line. So we will invoke this function, pass in how many steps we would like to walk. I would like to walk 100 steps. And here we go. We printed, you take a step 100 times. This is an iterative approach. If we were to take a recursive approach, we would invoke this function from within itself. So I'm going to turn this for loop into an if statement. We'll need a base case. When do we stop? If steps is greater than zero, we will display you take a step. Then I'm going to invoke the walk function from within itself. Then I will pass in steps minus one. This would be a recursive approach. We're invoking the walk function from within itself. You'll end up in a function, within a function, within a function, within a function, so on and so forth. So when I run this, this would do the same thing, but we've done so recursively. The advantages with recursion is that the code tends to be easier to write. I find this if statement a lot easier to understand than that for loop, although they're both pretty simple. However, with recursion, it uses more memory and it takes more processing time. In the case with our walk function, I would probably stick with an iterative approach. There's really not much benefit in this case. But in the case of, let's say, a searching algorithm or navigating a tree data structure, recursion would really help us with that. So let's say we don't have a base case. That's when we stop. What if I just call the walk function forever? Well, we end up in an infinite loop, and we would encounter what's called a stack overflow. When you invoke a function, you add what's called a frame to the stack. When your stack is overloaded, you'll encounter a stack overflow. So that's one problem with recursion. So let's try a different example. We'll create a factorial function. If you don't remember, factorial is a mathematics concept where you take a number and you multiply that number times the previous number minus one times the previous number minus one times the previous number minus one until you reach one. You multiply all these numbers and you're given a result. I'm going to demonstrate a function to do that both iteratively then recursively. Let's begin with an iterative approach. We will return an integer. This function will be named factorial. We'll pass in an integer named num. I'll immediately display the output, standard output, factorial, then pass in some number, maybe 10. Let's define this function. If I was to take an iterative approach, I would write something like this int result, this will be a local variable. I'll set this equal to one. I'll create a for loop. Int i equals one. We'll continue this as long as i is less than or equal to our number. Increment i by one. I will take our result equals result times whatever i currently is. At the end of this program, we will return result. Factorial 10, that would be 3,628,800. If I was taking a recursive approach, I would write something like this. 
We would need a base case. When do we stop? If num is greater than 1, we will return num times invoke factorial again our number minus 1. Else, we will simply return 1. This would do the same thing, but recursively. Factorial 10 is 3,628,800. Those were two different approaches to the same problem. When we did this recursively, we have a function call inside of a function call, inside of a function call, inside of a function call. You get the idea. Personally, I find a recursive approach to be a lot easier to read and understand. Although remember, it uses more memory and is slower. When you start to learn about sorting algorithms, that's when recursion is really going to help you quite a lot. It will simplify the steps. So that's recursion, everybody. It's a programming technique where a function invokes itself from within. We break a complex concept into repeatable single steps. Whenever you see a function invoking itself from within, you'll know that that's recursion. Hey, if you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this in the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's recursion in C++.